So, my name is Silvia Giordani, and in my research group, how do I... Oh, yeah. Okay, I only have two hands, so let's see. In my research group, uh, we design and synthesize different molecular building blocks, and we learn how to assemble them in order to make useful materials. We are interested in uh, sensing, imaging, diagnostic applications, and most recently in the environmental and in drug delivery. What I really want to talk to you about today is our carbon nano onions. These are multi-layer fullerenes, and they share lots of uh, uh, properties in common with other carbon nanomaterials. They have large surface area to volume ratio. They have, uh, of course, uh, they are graphitic. They have this graphitic multi-layer morphology. They are inexpensive and they are easy to control, in particular when we uh, compare them to carbon nanotubes. And they've been used for catalysis, electromagnetic shielding, gas storage, optical limiting. We synthesize them in the lab uh, simply by um, thermal treatment of detonation nanodiamond. And so we graphitize the carbon from sp3 in the nanodiamonds to sp2 in the carbon nano onions. And we characterize them using um, uh, lots of techniques. Here I'm just showing you the microscopy where we can see they have, they are this spherical nanoparticle with a diameter of five nanometers. And in the TM, you can see the multi-layer structures and that's why we call them carbon nano onions. Uh, what we do in the lab, we uh, chemically functionalize the surface in order to uh, render them um, fluorescent for image, for instance. Uh, we have developed different ways to do chemical surface functionalization, both covalent and non-covalent. So in the covalent, I'll just show you some, in, some examples where we uh, covalently drafted uh, green and red fluorophores. And in the non-covalent, we can avail of the graphitic structures and using pi-pi stacking, we can also bring different molecules. And we have Sorry, um, we have done a complete toxicity screening, starting from in vitro, in vivo, and most recently ex vivo. We have checked the toxicity profile, and we can see we can say that they are biocompatible; they are not toxic. We have tested in many cell line, and here you can only we can see some of them. And uh, we also tested in vivo in uh, Hydra, which is a freshwater polyp, and we could see uptake and no uh, toxicity. Same, we have studied the uptake, the biodistribution in zebrafish, which is a great vertebrate, mo vertebrate model. And again, no toxicity. Here I'm just plotting the mud formation and they were quite uh, uh, similar to the reference control. And we have also tested them in vivo in mice and we checked for uh, immune system, and they were uh, much better than alum, which is used in vaccine. So we were wondering if we can actually use them for the carbon, and interface them with the carbon central nervous system. So in collaboration with Dr. Raffaella Tonini, who's a great neuroscientist at IIT, uh, we have decided to inject the onion into the hippocampus of mice, and here you can see these are green fluorescent onion and you can clearly see the green fluorescence uptake in the neurons. We, uh, can, we did an ex vivo uh, confirmation of the uptake and cellular localization of our green onions inside the neuronal cells. And most importantly, they perform some uh, different tests to check that the onions did not affect the electrophysiology and the, behavioral, um, the behavior of the mice treated with those. So here you can see we compare the mice treated with the onions with the one treated with just vehicle. And the results were pretty much the same. So both in the uh, hippocampus circuit fun functionality and in the behavioral experiment. So the mice were given an object, and this is quite uh, well used by neuroscientists, the object exploration um, test and the novel object exploration. And you can see in red the results with the carbon nano onion, the mice that were injected with onions. And 
you can compare them with the results of the mice injected with VIACO. And again, there are basically no differences, which is quite promising. And now, with this promising uh, preliminary results, we are working on targeting. So uh, make sure that we can actually target our nano onions, and we want to target cancer cells and target in, in future several, uh, central nervous system tumors. So finally, this is my final goal. So hopefully in another course meeting, um, I will tell you how we progress on this uh, uh, quite challenging task. And I just want to conclude thanking my team. I have had a great uh, team of young researchers in my institute, in my lab in uh, Italy. And uh, not to mention Marta, who is giving the next talk. She's a great uh, um, a scientist. And uh, of course, the Multicomp. I'm very happy to be part of this uh, work group uh, three. And I look forward to discussing with you at our uh, work group meeting. So this is just a summary to show you that we can make this five nanometers carbon nanoparticle. We can functionalize them to render them visible, fluorescent. We can, we're working on targeting them, and we've shown that they are not toxic in vivo, in vitro, in vivo, and ex vivo. So thank you all for your attention.